Well, no. No. Well, it's just copying. Well, no. Well, whatever. Um, I just wanted to do a vlog while driving. I have a lot of stuff on my mind, or whatever the case may be. So, um, I hope you guys can hear me. I'm talking mad loud. And, um, yeah. So, I want to do a vlog about guys. Because as I was driving, I was just thinking, what the hell is this person doing? That's, like, illegal.
Target or like these big stores where it's just like you guys are completely on the other end, like you barely see each other, then that's okay. I think that's okay. And I think with my ex, um, we worked at the same store, but it was like a small grocery store. Everybody really knew each other. And at Walmart, everyone don't really know. Like, it's people to this day. I walk up and be like, okay, I've never seen you before. And they'd be like, well, I've been here for 25 years. It's like, what? <laughs> really? So, um, anyway, so it's a big store. And I, I never see him. The only time I see him is when he come and literally looks for me. Like, he takes me and be like, I'm here. Where I'm like, oh, really? You are? I've been up here all day. I haven't seen you. So, yeah. So, anyways. So, he, like, with my whole dating thing, I'm doing this, my next relationship, totally different from my last relationship. Like, I am taking my complete time. Like, you know how when you're dating, dating a person, you, um, you just kind of, you notice stuff that you don't like about them, but because they're new to you and you like them and they're cool, you kind of ignore it, like, kind of brush it off. And that's what I like to call ignoring the red flags. And I definitely don't want to do that again um, with a next relationship that I might get into. So, with this guy, I'm, like, totally taking my time. So, he, when we talk... Like, when, when I first met him, and like, it was just so crazy because I was on the register and he just kind of, he walked by and even though he was looking the other way, when he looked towards my way, like, he was just like, oh my, he gave me this look on his face like, wow. And ever since then, he's just been like a magnet towards me. Like, he, I, I'm not explaining it. So, anyway, so the first time I talked to him, he was like, you know, hey, my name is so-and-so, you know, I think you're beautiful, and I was like, <laughs> thank you, you know, and then he was like, you know, I would like to get to know you, can we exchange numbers, and I was like, how about we wait, <laughs> let's wait on that, and he was like, you want to wait to exchange numbers, I was like, yeah, so the next couple times I see you, I might give it to you, I might not, and then he was like, okay, okay, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll wait, and he, you know, I guess I kind of discouraged him, because he's, He's one of those, what I want to say, pretty boys. Like, you know how guys think they're pretty, you know. And it, I guess it was like a humbling moment for him because he was just like, wait, wait. Okay. So the next few times he was like, okay, you, you ready now? You ready? <laughs> so I finally, um, no, the, the like, it, it's been a couple times. And then he came to me on the register and he was like, look, okay, look, you don't have to give me your number, but here's my number. And, you know, whenever you want to use it, you can use it. And I was like, no, I don't want it yet. I, I don't want it yet. And then he was like, like, really? And he kind of walked off like he was upset. So, um, what else happened? It was one day and I just finally was like, okay, I see that you are really consistent. <laughs> So I'm going to give you my number. Here, here's my number. And ever since then, he's, you know, he texts me good morning. He's like really on beat. So, anyways. So, like, now that we've been, you know, talking. We talk at work. We talk on the phone. We text. You know. Um, it's getting to the point where it's like, he was like, um, you know, whenever, I, you know, you know how people end the conversation. They be like, bye. And with guys, you know, they expect like a hug. You know, like he'll be like, I, you know, he'll be like, okay, I'll be like, bye, and he'll be like, bye, and then like reach for a hug. I'm like, no, I, I don't do hugs. Like, I don't know you to know if you even deserve to hug me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna be so picky with my relationship. Like, not like with my dating, because I feel like I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm the shit. But I value myself so much more from my last relationship. You know, like, I don't want to just give myself away. Not give myself away so you can use me. All right, thank you, baby Jesus. So, <laughs> I don't want to just give myself openly. Like, you're going to wait for a hug. You're going to wait for a kiss. You're going to wait. You're going to wait. You're going to wait. Wait, motherfucker, wait. You're going to wait today. All right, y'all need to let me over because, um, all right, okay, now, bitch. Okay, really? 
You see, I got the end, the in, ah, the indicator on. Let me over. What's wrong with these people? Oh hell no! And you gonna do it too? You. Nobody gonna rest their head, rest their dirty head on my new seats. I know that's right. Yes. We're gonna pray. We're gonna pray for her. Yes. Let's say a prayer. <laughs> I'm done. But anyway, so yeah, I just wanna. I just wanna. Um. He's on the mo. He is on a bicycle in the middle of the street, and cars are coming off the highway. I need to hurry up and get to work because I can't be out here with these crazy people. Everybody's crazy. I, I promise you they are. I promise you. Yes. And he's going to stop. He stopped at the red light with his bicycle. Yes. He did. He did. He really did. He's still there. Okay. <laughs> he is still there. Yes. You know what? This video is getting too long. I can't. <laughs> but anyways, my basic point of what I'm trying to say is if you guys got if you if anyone out there ever got out of a of a um you know a relationship it's just like it's time to oh shit yes it's time to rebuild yourself back up and you know whether you're still hurt from it or the person broke up with you or you broke up with them you still need to get yourself together and heal and um deal with you know all your feelings so you don't take it into the next relationship and um I, like i said I'm, this time i'm gonna take my time because with my last relationship it went really quick like i saw him and i know i wanted to be with him got him had him did that you know what's the saying been there done that got a t-shirt you know what i'm saying and a hat and some shoes and bitch a lot so <laughs> You know, so you just you just gotta get yourself back together, and I'm learning. You know, I'm 23, so that that relationship was like a real relationship for me, um, with me and him. And um, so you know, in your life, you're gonna have relationships. You know, if you choose to. You know, I'm still looking for that guy with a flashlight. You know, so we'll see. We'll see. It's a nice car. And it's burgundy. Yeah, it's nice. All right, girl, you doing your fine, yes. I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. <laughs> but anyways, I don't want to make the video too lengthy because it's on my phone. And, you know, the last couple of videos take forever to upload or whatever the case may be. And um, I wish I could find, like, a, a handstand to hold my phone. But I don't like how the videos come up on YouTube because it shows, like, that portion instead of the whole broadband. I don't know how to change that setting in my phone. Okay, yes. Keep dropping, won't you? Alright, okay. Alright, so it dropped like three times. Sorry about that, you guys. But anyways, that was it. That's all I wanted to share. Just a vlog, you know, checking in, checking out. Alright. Well, bye, you guys. See you later.